What's up guys, this is Silence and today we are talking about motion sickness and why especially the PSVR 2 can finally help you having fun without headaches. I will tell you my number one tip first and then we are going to dive into a rabbit hole full of science that backs this theory. Cause there's a ton of background info that can help you understand and tackle motion sickness. So stay tuned and let's go! Alright, here's my trick to kill motion sickness on the PSVR 2. Check this out. Do you see this rubber thingy? It blocks light and makes the headset super tight on your face. It has a ton of good benefits. So let's remove it. Yep, you heard me right. Yes, this shield, once removed, has some genius benefits that I can back up with science. Just give me a second. This creates a small gap, like 2 to 5 centimeters, between your face and the headset. You still see the game crystal clear, but when you look around, you still catch a glimpse of your room and this supports your brain greatly. Now why does that even work? I've got 8 science backed reasons plus extra tips to make VR even better. Let's dive in and let me explain. Reason number 1. Visual vestibular conflict. Motion sickness happens when your eyes see you moving in VR, like speeding in a car, but your body is like, nah, dude, I'm on a couch, so what, what up here? Your brain freaks out and you feel sick. But by seeing a bit of your room through the gap, your brain gets a reminder where you really are. It's like a reality checkpoint that calms the confusion. Reason number two, future view. The PSVR 2 future view makes games feel real, but it can also trick your brain into thinking you're moving too fast. The gap from removing the rubber shrinks that view just a tiny bit, so the motion feels less intense. It's like watching a regular TV screen again. Less intensity, less nausea. Your brain can handle it better. You still have all of the screen in front of you, but additionally a small frame of the real world. Reason number 3. Latency. Latency is a tiny delay between moving your head and the screen updating. Even small delays can make you dizzy. The PS5 and the PSVR 2 are very fast. We are basically covered here. But there are setups that use VR via Wi-Fi and latency is an issue. I have been on Sandbox VR in Hamburg, Germany. We had a ton of fun, but we also had a lot of lags and latency issues. I moved, but my character didn't. It jerked into place because we had a tiny little lag and instantly I felt like on a pirate ship. And then there was this tight headset that didn't allow me to see my true surroundings. And after 20 minutes, I really was done. Motion sickness galore. I wanted to puke. So these delays and jerking into place um, really killed all of the fun for me. So yeah, the gap on my PSVR 2, it's a safety net for when the screen gets dark or you jump or switch position or anything that could possibly throw you off balance is caught by the gap and allows you to anchor yourself again in reality. Reason number four, immersion and presence. VR is awesome because it feels like you're in the game, right? But being too immersed can make motion sickness worse if the game is moving too fast. The gap lets you stay immersed, but also keeps one foot in the real world. It's like I'm racing in Gran Turismo, but still know my couch is right there. Less nausea, more fun. Reason number five, stable reference point. Scientists say having something stable to look at, like a cockpit in a racing game, can reduce sickness. The gap does the same thing. Seeing my room is like my brain's anchor to reality, and that anchor stops the nausea. Reason number six is less claustrophobia. A tight headset can make you feel trapped. You're like stuck in VR with no idea what's really around you right now. Also, if you have headphones, you just don't see or hear if somebody is in the room. That can freak you out and will stress you out most likely. Is there someone sneaking up on me? Is there an ex murder? With the gap, I feel chill knowing my room is here and I'm the only one in it. Less stress, less sickness. Reason number seven, air circulation. Most VR headsets trap you in a sweaty prison, like your face is steaming with your own sweaty vapor. 
gross, right? In my opinion, that's a crappy design fault. The gap on my PSVR 2 lets air through, keeping me cool and comfy. No more feeling like it's stuck in a sauna while racing. So cool ahead, let's nausea. And last but not least, reason number 8, individual differences. Not everyone gets motion sick the same way. Me, I'm usually okay, but that one time on a sandbox VR session proved I can feel it too and really badly. So this gap trick works for me. But we are all different. Maybe your brain loves the gap as much as mine does. That's why I need you to test it. Let's make a big open experiment here, as Sony's VR design maybe is the key to fight motion sickness. Oh yeah, and here's some honorable mentions that can help you additionally. So, tip number one, start short VR sessions like 50 minutes, take a break and then go again. This trains your brain to handle VR without freaking out. Tip number two, point a fan at yourself while playing. The airflow tricks your brain into feeling like you are moving, which can cut nausea. Tip number three, adjust distance between your eyes and the headset. It makes the image sharper and easier on the brain. Tip number four, try games with less crazy movement first, like Moss or Tetris Effect. They are easier on your stomach while you get used to VR. Tip number five, make sure your PSVR 2 is set to 120Hz mode in settings. Higher refresh rate equals smoother visuals equals less sickness. Tip number six, if one game makes you sick, switch to another, like GT7 messes you up, try Beat Saber. Different games hit your brain differently. Tip 7. Don't play VR on an empty stomach or right after a big meal. A light snack before playing keeps your stomach happy. Tip number 8. Play in a room with good airflow or crack a window. Fresh air helps your brain stay calm and cuts motion sickness. Ok guys, join the experiment. Try the gapped PSVR 2. Is it just me? Or can it help you too? That's where my experiment comes in. I want you to try this and tell me your result. Here's what to do. Carefully remove the PSVR 2's rubber light shield or loosen it for the gap. Play a game that usually makes you queasy, like GT7 or Resident Evil 4. Play for 15 minutes and stop. Comment below, did it stop your motion sickness or help? Was immersion still good and what game did you try? Yeah, in my opinion VR is the future guys, but motion sickness is still a big wall for some of us. My hack works for me and I hope it will help you guys. Let's make this experiment help others. Share your results, hit the subscribe button, drop a like and thanks for watching. Guys, see you next time. Bye.